I chose engineering because I was inclined towards problem solving and mathematics and physics back in school. Um, it was more of a uh, family part as well, as both my parents are engineers. And that led me towards doing my undergrad in electrical and electronics engineering. Typical day, um, every day is different in engineering, I would say, and it's a very hands-on role. So it varies between doing some simulations, testing, and design. Um, my day-to-day -day would be working on setups, designing boards. Apart from the technical skills, I picked up a lot of knowledge on problem solving and just organization and planning, which I think is very important in any role that you take up, personally and professionally. So I have learned a lot, I would say, out, outside of the box. The most exciting part of my current job would be the individual research that I'm able to do and um, the design and analog circuitry that I, I have the chance to work on. So that definitely is one of the most exciting parts of my job. Flux Technology works on infrared sensors and I specialize in the part where we process the signals coming out of these sensors and work, I'm working on the electronic module around the sensor. So it involves a lot of design, simulation, as well as quite a bit of testing and iterations of that, which is pretty exciting. I would say to anyone that wants to get into the area to do as much hands-on um, as they can. Just hobby projects. There's a lot on the internet these days um, that you can start off right from your schooling years. It's just, you know, pick up a few boards, try some things out, of course, with some guidance, <laughs> definitely. Um, but I think as much hands-on experience as you can get because theoretical knowledge only gets you as far. Well.